Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Jordan, and today I'll be doing a review of the Corsair Hydro Series H60 CPU cooler. And here we have the contents in the box that you get from Corsair. You have the radiator, the fan, and the cooler, which goes on the CPU itself and all the parts that put it together. Here are some pictures that I took that with the Corsair in my case. I have the dual fan set up, as you can see in this next picture. I have the left fan pushes air out of the case and the right fan pulls air through the radiator from inside the case. So I ran some tests um, for temperatures on my system which is an AMD Phenom 2 uh, 555 Black Edition. It's The stock uh, speed is 3.2 gigahertz. I have a GTX 560 Ti overclocked by Asus 1 gigabyte and 4x2 G Skill Rip Jaws RAM and a Corsair 650 watt power supply. So, what I did for the temperature tests is I did test idle and rendering 1080p video out of Sony Vegas. And I did this at stock speeds and overclocked. Um, at So, I overclocked at 3.7 gigahertz with the H60 and without it. And here are the temperatures. Feel free to pause the video to kind of get a feel for um, how effective this cooler is. As you can see with the H60, the temperatures are much, much lower compared to the stock cooler that my processor came with. So in conclusion, the H60 provides great cooling in a closed circuit liquid cooling system. So you don't have to change the liquid or anything else like that. It's compact unlike most air heatsink fans and then there's an option to set up the push-pull system very easily on the radiator and it is a great option for mid-sized case users as it's very compact and it also comes with pre-applied uh, uh, thermal grease so I hope you enjoyed this video of an overview of the Corsair Hydro Series H60 CPU cooler thank you for watching